Welcome to Utah's Fly Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a high vis parachute hair's ear using my custom blend high test UV high test blend. That's the fly. It's high vis because we're going to use a pink post on her. And our tail is going to be cocked to Leon. Let's tie a size 16. Size 16 dry fly hook. We're using Uni 80 and Tan. I'll start my thread by the eye. Bring it on back. Got a piece of fuzz there. Ready? Back to our barb. Snip it off. Now, Cockney alone is a, it's a rooster saddle. Um, it's the saddle feathers that you want. They have hardly any web to them, and they're the, some of the stiffest natural fibers there are. And these are equal to uh, micro fibbits, uh, but they have a nice molting effect to them. It makes uh, your flies uh, real nice. Um, so, we have to bring 90 degrees, pinch them to even the tips up when they're 90 degrees, and peel them off. Then we have a full round with them in my hand, make sure they're sitting the right way. And don't worry if they clump together, because a lot of times the, the flies, their tails clump together. It's not going to uh, affect the fly floating uh, or landing at all. So don't worry about that. We measure about the same length as the body. Bring these back, have them on my side. Put one turn over them. Push them over, bring them up on top of the shank. Oh, they rolled on me. That happens sometimes. But we measure. Catch them on. I lift them up. Just turn underneath and bring it over. Just gonna lift them up and splay them out real nice. I'm gonna tie these in. Now most tires will recommend that you tie in the parachute post now with the hackle. I don't like to do it that way most of the time because the post and the hackle gets in your way and you got to wrap around them. Um, this is going to be a hair's ear, so I am going to rib it. I'm going to rib it with some gold metallic thread. It has zero weight. It's going to give us our rib. That back to the tail. That's my UV high test dubbing. Stuff's uh, some killer dubbing. It's my favorite, my favorite custom blend that I I blend up and use. It uh, produces a lot of fish for me. Um, but that's the stuff here. You can see. It's the same blend I use on my diamond scuds. But I dub myself a nice tight noodle. I'll let the fish chew it up. But you can dub tight with it, as you can see, but it's still gonna give us a nice shaggy looking body. I'm gonna bring it up to about there. Any extra let's peel it off. Stop it there. Now with metallic threads they're wound. So you gotta make sure you got it nice and twisted before you wrap it. I'm gonna counter wrap it so the rib stands out. It is gonna dig into the dubbing. Your rib, catch it in, tie it off. Put my thread up, bring it back down. Snip that. You got a nice buggy looking body there. 
Now I'm gonna do the parachute post. What I'm gonna use is Hairline's Parapost. Uh, it's not polyorn, but it's uh, pre-treated with uh, watershed. Stuff floats pretty good. Um, plus, I can't seem to find uh, siliconized, siliconized poly is my absolute favorite post material. Uh, makes your fly float like nobody's business. Um, but that only comes in gray, uh, dun, dark dun, and black and white. Um, but to do a high vis, you gotta you're forced to use. Um, other things, uh, and this is my next favorite. So I'm gonna pull, put it underneath, 50/50 split on the post. And then I'm gonna turn one turn over top of it, let it go one turn behind, one turn around. That's our post. Easy enough. And on this one, I'm gonna use a neck hackle. Off of a whiting grizzly neck. Trim my hackle here. Get ready to get tied in. Catch it in on the top. Wrap it back up to the post. I'm going to post it up. Nice and tight. Post up. Don't need to go up far. You can if you want, sure fly. But I need to go up uh, about two mil or so, two or three mil. I like to take it and pull it down, get it ready for twist it on. Do that now. Now I'm going to dub a little bit more, cover up that post area. Now if I wasn't going to rib it, I would put the post in before I did the body because you can just dub it all at once. At that point, you know, it makes sense to do it that way to me. Um, but doing the rib and you got to tie it off. I mean, you could tie it off with the dubbing on there. It's just not going to tie it off nearly as secure as just the bare thread. But we're going to build ourselves a little bit of a uh, thorax here. Dubbing went a little loose on me there. Yeah. Should you save yourself some room at the head. That's your body set up. If it's too shaggy, you can always get in there and give it a trim, but I like it nice and shaggy like that. Seems like the fish do as well. I'm going to use uh, rotary hackle pliers. For this hackle, because it is short. I had, I've already tied two flies with uh, this piece of hackle, and it is off a neck, the whiting. But, oh, hit the camera. Sorry about that. Wind it. Touching turns, working my way down. Let me get to the bottom. Squeeze one more in there. Pull it nice and tight. Now I go underneath, lift my thread up, go underneath my thread. Then I pull it back tight. Oh, hackle broke on me. Hackle broke on me, so I'm going to show you another little trick. Wrap yourself up and around your post. And then bring your thread back down your post, lift up your hackle, put it on, and then whip finish. As long as your hackle doesn't go completely loose on you, you can get away with doing that um, real quick. Uh, get your hackle up through there. Now it's just a matter of finding that point that's loose. 
I'm getting him trimmed out of there. And I see him right there. Lift up till he exposes himself a little bit better. We'll trim him out of there. Get our hackle back in position. Hackle back in position. Now we just need to trim the post. I like big, big, huge hacking posts on them. Just high enough that you can, uh, you can make the fly out on the water. It'll do the job. Like I said, you know, if you think it's a little, if you're not digging the shagginess of it, you can always come in with your scissors and trim them loose. But that's a high vis UV floating. That's uh. Parachute hairs here. It's a big mouthful, uh, is what it is, but it is a deadly fly. Works wonders. Um, with the pink post, you can easily see the fly on the water. It's pretty easy to see. But, time up. It's a great, great uh, emerger pattern. Caught many fish on this fly. Well, I hope that you do too. If you'd like to get some of this uh, UV high test dubbing from me, uh, simply contact me uh, on my blog, or or um, you can get to me uh, at www.jeuflies. Thank you for watching. I'm Johnny Utah. Check me out on my blog, www.utah's fly corner, blogspot.com. Once again, thanks for watching.